Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. Uh, this is a continuation session on SDLC. In the previous session, we talked about uh, inception phase. Okay. Usually, the next session will be uh, requirements analysis. Okay. Uh, this is actually in in two parts. Uh, if you look at this, this has got a planning phase maybe a subphase and then requirements analysis okay though we call it as a simple requirements phase there is some amount of planning that is happening and then the requirement analysis again they may go in parallel okay so first of all let us uh, look at what is planning phase within the requirements okay this is purely project management. Uh, before we execute any project, we need to have some plan on what are we going to do. Mainly, there are three aspects. One is time, another is cost, and another is resource. Okay. So, if you increase resource, cost will increase. If you increase time, cost will increase, right? So the time, cost, and the resource are the key factors. So with respect to time, let us take time. We agreed on some time in the contract, right? Say we have agreed, say six months or say three years, we will execute this project, finish, right? But how are you going to utilize this time? You cannot wait for an auspicious day to complete the project. So you need to have proper planning or a schedule that, that says, okay, on this date you should be completing this. Meticulously done, right? So list out all activities or say tasks at root level, not just macro level, right? Because if you do at the macro level, you may be missing some of the finer aspects. So start listing out every aspect. For example, create database design document, internal review of database design document, external review of database design document. Right? So like this, you have to break down, right? Break down all activities to atomic levels. If you are able to do that and then assign time for each task, then you will know where exactly you stand. If it is not done, you cannot track it. Then again, this itself is a huge area project scheduling. We can talk about hours and hours on this. I am just touching this because this is an introductory session. Okay. Another is resource. When you take resource, there are different parts. One is of course human resource. You need to know how many people you need, what kind of uh, experience or qualification, right? You need to get that and then your HR needs to provide the right people to your project. So human resource planning is another aspect. If the human resources that you are getting are not trained, then you need to know what kind of training is required, right? Then you have to do the training, get the resources up to speed, then start the project, right? So the human resource is one area, then hardware and software. You may require servers, you may require desktops, it may be iPhones, mobile devices, routers, network connectivity, then OS, database, web server licenses, right? Of course, development and uh, testing tools. Each license is a cost, each machine is a cost, each human resource is a cost. When you consume, when your project consumes, right? When project consumes resources 
over time cost keeps growing right so project manager typically the PM needs to plan this by December end what kind of resources I would have consumed what would be my cost that I would have spent already if the cost you spend is more than what you bid then you are losing right so obviously there is a profit margin that project manager must be aware of so work the project within that time frame so that your project is profitable else there are only two things either customer pays or company pays if you are within the budget you are using customers money if not you are using your company's money if you are using company's money profitability is negative so PM needs to plan this right so time cost and resources apart from that PM needs to know all the risks in the project again this we have already have uh, we have taken another session on risk management within open mentor sessions we recorded webinars you could have seen risk management itself is spanning for about three hours even that three hours is much less when you compare to actual risk analysis people do right it may be technology related risk or people related risk or process related risk right or legal risk or environment related risks it can be so many uh, it, it, you can see that in so many different uh, flavors but risk management what kind of risk can happen project manager needs to plan so there are so many other planning aspects that the PM has to cover but time cost resources risk if we are able to touch all these four of course training is part of that human resource then you are you are covering most of the areas that we need for the project so this happens first soon after the contract is signed and uh, then actual requirement gathering happens so how can I gather requirements there's a special set of people called business analysts also known as SMEs subject matter experts right these people know the functionality of the customers for example uh, let us take uh, stock exchange if I need to develop a soft uh, software for a stock exchange I need to know stock broking right without knowing that how a dealer behaves how exchange behaves what are the rules what do you mean by buy sell uh, partial fill partial kill right there are so many terms in stock market somebody will say square off right unless you have worked in that field you may not know what is happening in the industry then the, how can you develop a software to automate that business logic so you cannot do that for that you need somebody who already worked in that or if I am consulting for an insurance company right unless you know insurance details right what is premium what is dispute right what is claim right what is the calculation right unless someone knows you cannot go and then talk to the customer so first thing is never send a techie right send a business analyst who worked in that domain to meet the customer start noting down all needs of customer this requirement gathering can happen in many in two different formats one is called the feature lists right feature list that means keep writing as customer says 
right? Uh, for example, if you are developing uh, a particular software for collecting the poll information from people, right? Customer will say, uh, there must be a provision to add contacts in mobile, right? To add contacts in mobile. So you can reformat this, but keep on listing it, okay? Customer will again say, um, I can delete the contacts also, right? You can say, system must provide a facility to delete contacts, right? So what customer says, write them one after the other, right? Customer will say, I can create polls uh, starting from current date, right? Polls can be created, right? From current date only. This is a requirement. Whatever customer says, I want this, I need this, they are all requirements. Keep on listing one after the other. This is called feature list. Very easy. Take a spreadsheet, talk to the customer, write it down. There is another thing called use cases. Okay. Use cases are more structured and uh, more like story. Right. Customer will say, okay, I am envisioning the user experience. This is more of envision end user experience. The customer will say, okay, user logs in, user lands at home page, user selects create contact option, right? If you see this, this is almost like telling a story, like a user manual. Use case meaning in real life how an end user will use your system. Envision that the product is not there, screens are not there, but imagine, imagine the product, envision the product, think the screens, see how the user can come and go, what kind of messages it should display, right? So people can write use cases also because some customers tell in that mode, some customers will say, hey, I need this, I need that, I need this. Either way, the business analyst can write requirements. Usually, people will do it in a document or in a spreadsheet. Okay. Once this is done, do an internal review of requirements. A review again this is called a peer review. Other people will read through your document and then point out the mistakes. Then, customer must review. These requirements may be called as SRS, right? Software requirement specification or systems requirement specifications, right? Customer must review SRS. He or she may point out the mistakes in SRS. Then, finally, Sign off must happen on SRS. Once this is done, customer must say, give a okay green signal. Yeah, okay, this is right. This is what I want. Customer may say something, your business analyst may understand something else, and then uh, you end up with mismatch. So obviously, if requirements are noted down wrongly, product will be wrong, right? I wanted a ballpoint pen and you gave me a fountain pen, right? It cannot happen. So, sign off meaning customer giving a green signal on the document that you prepared. That marks the end of requirements phase. So, during requirements phase, parallelly the project planning happens. PM is responsible. So, the project manager, two key people, project manager is important for plan. Business analyst or also known as subject matter expert is responsible for SRS. Right? These two documents are the output. The input is again you have to take the contract. Sometimes what happens is contract may not talk about a requirement. Customer may ask that requirement. So someone has to point out, hey, this is out of scope at this point. 
either we renegotiate or we accommodate right so the SRS needs to be counterchecked with your contract macro level scope of the project the sign off marks the end of requirements phase if requirements are not collected correctly documented correctly reviewed correctly then obviously the downstream processes will have a definite problem right uh, for example in real estate uh, you ask for a three bedroom house and uh, your builder is giving a three storied house right and asking more money it's not going to help you so if the requirements are gathered wrong project will go wrong so this is another key aspects in the project 